When watching other RGB split videos, I can't help but notice one key element in the effect missing. In this video, I'm gonna show you a secret trick to make your RGB split stand out from the rest. Hey everyone, I'm Preston, and before I give you this incredibly simple but impactful secret, I want to ask you to please like, subscribe, and put notifications on. This channel runs off your support, so your participation is greatly appreciated. Finally, it's time to jump into After Effects. Right click your clip and pre-compose it. Make sure to move all attributes, and then duplicate it three times. Now get the shift channels effect and apply it to all three clips. This effect will allow us to separate the red, blue, and green. Something that I like to do that's not necessary, but I feel like it helps a lot. I'll actually change the color of the clips that I want to be the certain color to that color. And you can do that by selecting the box on the side and then picking the color that you want. On the red clip, you'll leave the red channel alone and turn blue and green to full off. On blue, you'll turn green and red to full off. And on green, you'll turn blue and red to full off. Turn all clips to the screen blending mode and your RGB split is ready. You can mess around with it now. What I do personally is I put the bottom clip scale at 100.5%, the middle at 100%, and the third at 101%. And you're done with a regular RGB split effect, but it's not as cool as it could be. The difference between my RGB split effect and others is that mine is meant to look more like real natural light splitting and less like digital glitches. How do you do that, you might ask? Create an adjustment layer and add the radial blur effect. Change the type from spin to zoom. Adjust until the edges of the RGB split are just barely fading into each other. Three generally works best for me. This special RGB split effect is a perfect way to increase the quality of your video. This blurring of the edges helps to make it feel more subtle while also more unique. If you have any more effects that you'd like me to cover, please tell me in the comments. And I also want to know whether or not you want to see more tutorials like this. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.